Here we'll be talking about the lower limb occlusion. On this leg, I have the Velcro cuff. Quite easy to put on, nice and strong, and connects like this. Again, you need to make sure that you have two or three fingers that you can fit underneath that it's not too tight. You're looking somewhere between 60 and 80% of total limb occlusion pressure. The negative here clearly is that we can't measure this with the Velcro cuff. So you are a bit subjective on this occasion. On the other leg, you can see that I have the pump cuff already attached. I have the pump ready here and connect and hear the click. So it's ready. Again, 60 to 80%, depending on your uh, outcome with your patient, close the valve and pump the cuff. This allows us to be much more accurate in our limb occlusion pressure, or LOP. Two or three fingers can fit underneath the cuff, so that should not res completely restrict venous return. So the patient or yourself should not have symptoms going into the lower limb like pins and needles, numbness or tingling. When you're ready and you've reached the desired pressure, you can release, set to one side, and perform the exercise that you would like to perform. Once finished, you will then need to reattach the cuff and release the valve. Once released completely, then you'll be able to release the cuff. Just make sure that the patient is comfortable and they're not getting any symptoms into the lower limb.